Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to discuss about the one of the error message in SIP that is 488 not acceptable message. So most of the time, if you are troubleshooting something on SIP, so you will you will come to know about this error message that is 488 or you can say 4xx error message. So this is 488 not acceptable error message. So maybe sometimes you check, okay, you are getting 488 not acceptable error message. So uh, what do you want to do? You will first check the uh, codec details. You will check the transcoder. You will check the CUCM. Like you will check all these details. This is what we are talking about first. So if you are getting this 488 not acceptable message and you already change all the codec, like maybe if codec is misconfigured, if codec is not there uh, on the service provider side, on your side, if codec mismatch is there, so you already maybe change the codec, whether it's a G711, 22 ILBC or something, right? And you already configured the transcoder as well. You checked it's everything is registered with the call manager and everything is looking like, like seems fine. But still your outgoing calls give this error that is 488 not acceptable, right? As here you can see in your SIP in this uh, message, it's saying SIP, this one is SIP 2.0 version. This is 488, this is your error message, 488 not acceptable here right so i hope you see it uh, i hope you know how to read these messages on the sip uh, if if you have no idea about these sip or the messages or maybe if you are checking this video for the very first time on my channel then you can go and check out my playlist on the sip that is session initiation protocol so i will suggest you can see first that those videos first and then you can come to these troubleshooting videos like 488 not acceptable error message or uh, upcoming or in the upcoming videos I will let you know about the other error messages as well. So first you can go and check out my video on the SIP part one, part two and part three and then you can come back to this video. Right. So here we are. Uh, I'm, I'm just giving you a brief about this message as well. Just a little bit knowledge. So this is like your uh, headers via header from to call ID, CSAC, allow events, contact header, reason and the content length. So first thing via header is there. Here you can see SIP 2.0 version. It works on UDP. This is the IP address and these all are the details written over here. To and from like call is coming from this one this number and uh, this one and then to this number right and the ip address is mentioned over here call id is this one which is unique and then we have a csec number csec that is 101 invite so this csec number would be very helpful once you get an acknowledgement once you get a response from the server side or i can say the agent if you're talking about agent or server side then it will be very helpful this 101 in white number would be very helpful once you're getting a uh, i can say the response from the server side now you have this allow thing allow events so these are the things which is allowed cancel i can invite buy options so there are so many info refer subscribe track everything then we have this contact header and reason what is the cause code like cause is saying 65 so 65 cause code is for 488 not acceptable here message right and here content length it's saying content and zero save and this all the details is coming over here so now we already checked we already changed the codec we configure the transcoder register with the call manager but like everything seems fine but still outgoing calls give this error so what you need to do next so let's let's first check it out what is 488 not acceptable here message right so 488 not acceptable here message like some aspect of the sgp or the request uri is not acceptable what it means or maybe a codec issue the two things some aspect of the session description SGP or the request URI is not acceptable or it might be a codec issue, right? So now this message body containing a description of media capabilities 
may be present in the response, which is formatted according to accept header field in the invite. The same as a message body in a 200 OK response to an options request, right? So this message body contains this SDP capabilities and all, all other things, right? So now mostly this error comes and it is related with the codec incompatibility. So your codec should be compatible like your agent or your server like party A and party B. It must be having one of the codec common in between, right? So let's let's read it out. This is related to codec incompatibilities. For anyone encountering this issue, they should check whether both sides, like server and the client, have at least one codex. This is not codex, codex they can negotiate, right? If G711 would be there on the client side or G722 and ILBC, then your server side should be having one of these codex for the negotiation, right? And to fix that, you should check both side configurations. I mean, if you got an error for a SIP trunk, you should check the SIP trunk provider codec and configuration. And if it's an interconnection in your company, you should check the second server configuration, correct? And for finding and debugging the codec for both sides, you can capture SIP sessions by tools like Wireshark and you can check the codec for each code. Like whenever you're making a call, you can just open the Wireshark traces and then you can check what codec is, it is like actually sending it to the provider and what codec I am using, what codecs uh, your server is using. You will get it all the details and then you can identify whether I'm using the correct one or not. So let's check out the Wireshark trace. So here you can see uh, it is saying G711 PCMA, right? So it is saying uh, if once it is sending, it's it's showing G711A low, right? So now you need to check it on your CUCM whether it is sending the same or not. To fix that, you need to go to the SIP trunk and look for MTP preferred originating codec. And for that, you need to log into your CUCM, go to this device, and then the trunk so once you click on the trunk you can check your zip trunk select your zip trunk and click on to change the configuration like you select your zip trunk just to scroll it down and then you can check this mtp preferred originating codec right so here you can see it is saying 711 new law right so you can see it's a it's a conflict like it's not using the same one so you can go and change it now, your most SIP providers want early offer invites as well. This is just a second thing. And they use this always to decide on which codec to offer for the calls. Means they will negotiate, right? They will just ask you for the codec which you are using and then they can negotiate on their side, right? And to configure delayed, if you have a delayed offer in your environment and if you want to configure it to early offer for SIP audio calls at the global level, then you can just use this command that is early offer forced on your gateway, right? So once you put this command early offer forced, it will send all the codec capabilities to your server, to your I, to your service provider. Like I have this G711ALO, I have G711MULO, I have G722, I have ILBC, I have Opus. So it will send all the codecs to your service provider and then it depends on your service provider how it will negotiate. Like if he wants to negotiate it on G711A low, then it will send a request. Okay, we will be working on G711A low. If you already have all the codecs, then it will negotiate it easily. And then you will not get that 488 not acceptable message. Right. So I hope you learned something from this video. And if you schedule some session, you can go to this stopmate.io and you can uh, just schedule some time with me. You can check out my memberships as well. And I hope you like this video. If you have any queries, just let me know in the comment section. I will try to answer all the queries. So it might take some time, but I'll try to answer all the queries. So if you really like this video, then please like, share and subscribe my channel so that you will get notifications of all my upcoming videos as well if you click on the notifications. Thank you.